In this video, I'm going to show you how to create production certificates for your iOS app. So make sure you're logged into your developer account. And then if you haven't already, download your CSR file. And then we move on to creating developer certificates. Now don't be confused by the word developer here. Um, as you see in step two, it makes the point that you must choose the type of certificate that you want to create. It will be development or production. And in essence, in step three, you can create production or development certificates. You might also see the use of the term distribution certificates. This is just an interchangeable name for production certificates. Mostly the Zappable team says production and Apple says distribution. They're the same thing. Okay, so here we want to add. We do not want development, we want production. We want App Store and ad hoc. Continue. Continue. Now use the certificate signing request file that you just created and downloaded. And then hit generate. Now we download this distribution certificate. Okay. And we simply find the same certificate, iOS distribution.sir, open it, and upload. The next stage is creating the iOS app ID. Now, if you've followed older development videos, you might already have an app ID, in which case you can skip it and just use the same app ID. But you will need to generate new distribution push notification certificates. For this tutorial, we're going to pretend that we're just putting this app directly into production because we're going to use test flight later to do the testing instead of using development certificates to create a development app. So we'll click here to create the app ID. We'll add, and then we'll take the app ID description and then the app ID and then we will enable push notifications here and hit continue. And we submit and the registration is complete. Now we go to the app in question and we edit it And then we create production SSL certificates. Now this is a step that's very important if you're moving from a development app to a production app. So we choose the cert signing request file once again. And we generate the production certificates for push notifications. which we then download. We then go back to Zappable, browse for them. And here they are, the APS production cert. Then we upload the certificate. Now that we've created the certificate, the iOS app ID that's registered to it, and the production SSL certificates, we can generate a provisioning profile. So to do so, we click here. Go to distribution, plus at the top, select app store, click continue. Select the app we're working on, click continue. Select the certificate we wish to include in this provisioning profile. Continue. Give the profile a name. And 
we then generate. And now we simply download the production provisioning profile. We go back to Zappable. Click Browse and add the mobile provision file, which we then upload. We are now complete and ready to validate certificates, check if they're valid, and generate the app. And this concludes the tutorial into how to create your production iOS certificates.